So game two of round one, uh, we have two of our three drops, good mana. Uh, is this hand worth keeping? Mm, it's not great, but I think it'd be kind of a stretch to mulligan, so I'm going to keep... Are we on the draw? Yeah, we are. Okay, well I'm going to keep... Th this is sort of loose, but it's not that bad. Uh, if one of these was an artifact, I'd be a little bit more wary. And drawing a land there, like, perfect. Okay. <laughs> and another land. Alright, like I said, this hand could be a lot worse, and it just got a lot worse. Uh, this is the trouble with keeping five land hands. You tend to run into these. So, if he does have a vault... Uh, charge or volt charge. I would much rather him kill Anchor Rats, especially now that I drew Corpse Cur. So we will play that guy. And F6. Uh, he has a pretty low wound. Okay, so I guess I have two poison. Mm, yeah, I guess his deck isn't all that bad. He's playing some odd choices just because he needs mana fixing, but. I suppose he's splashing for Divine Offering. I didn't see any other splash. Yep. Gremlin Mine. Okay, well, we'll just run out Corpse Cure here. Get back our Acre Rats. Yes, I do want to use that ability. And we'll have six again. And you can use one of his very many artifact removal spells here. Which kind of sucks. Mm, hopefully this is just an artifact. Uh, nope, that guy. Okay. <clears throat> That's fine. That guy's not all that scary. I mean, it stops me from attacking, I guess, but it could be a lot worse. So, I believe right now, uh, what I'm going to do is run out Sisbearer. The next turn I can pit thrill this and attack with Sisbearer. And I believe we will just F2 through our turn. Yeah, I mean, this guy is not all that good. It, it's good filler, I guess. It's just a hill giant, but could certainly be a lot better. Tank Wangler is very good. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, we will simply pit drill here. Uh, I don't think I want to pay the extra two life since I don't think I'm playing Gremlin Mine this turn. So we'll just pay the full. And we'll shoot that guy. And get him for our deuce. This guy's basically just a chump blocker at this point anyway, so I suppose he might as well. Oh, uh, what do we have here? Life's finale. Yeah, that's a card. <laughs> that card's sick. Hopefully we draw our Morbid Blunder, but he gets to see our whole deck. Hmm. I need to stop saying my opponent's decks aren't very good, because then they play crap like this. And then I look very silly. Uh, wow, that card's good. So we got a 3 for 1 there, got rid of Spinebiter, Plague Stinger, and what? Trying Morbid Blunder would be so good. Uh, Core Prowler. Okay, so we got rid of a bunch of my infect guys. Three cards left, sure. Septic rats, okay. So in this case, I will run out uh, septic rats and tango angler. That way if he even plays a guy, I can still get him for three with septic rats. Yeah, life's finale is a real card. <laughs> God, guys, that card is so good. Um, Hellion, sure. It's not exciting or anything, but it's fine. Mm, mortar Pod. Uh, how much do I want Mortar Pod here? So if I use Mortar Pod, let me see, I can Icar Rats him to two poison, uh, and then I can equip Icar Rats. And fling it at this guy, block, 
make him block with Tango Angler, get him for three more. That puts him at five poison. Mm, but then I'm just wasting my Mortar Pod. Whereas if I just wait a turn, he has to attack me. Do I run out Mortar Pod itself into a Divine Offering? I do not. Okay, we're just going to wait for him to attack. Then we get in basically the same amount of poison, if not more. And I don't really mind taking five at this exact moment in time, considering life totals. So he has to attack me. Yep, that's okay. Hopefully he just plays a one toughness guy. Uh, he did. Sweet. And Grim Affliction. That's cool. Alright, so we're going to run out Mortar Pod, kill this stupid thing. And now I'm saying his deck's bad again. Uh, I don't know, his deck looks okay, but he's playing a bunch of filler. Hmm. Yeah, that's a Divine Offering. That's what I figured he had. So, I still think I Grim Affliction here. Killing that guy. And then we proliferate his poison. Permanent to add a counter to. Okay, yeah, why not? Alright. And then we will attack him for six poison. Putting him at one. And that guy has to attack, so he has to get another life's finale basically to get out of this since I can tangle angle any blockers he has. And that's probably game. Yep, there we go. Alright, see you in round two.